Hey, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Hi, everybody. Hey, so we're out here today. We're going to plant some dahlia bulbs, and we're going to plant them behind us in these new beds. I know. This is so exciting. We've been really waiting for this day because the beds weren't ready yet. So if you watched our video, what, about a month ago? About a month ago. Yeah. yeah something like that. We potted up all of our dahlia bulbs. We had about 30 of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we wanted to plant our dahlia bulbs because we needed them to start growing to stay in tune with the rest of the year. We didn't want to plant them too late, so we started them early to get them growing, but we didn't have this ready yet. I know, this is so cool. Let's let's give them a tour of the yeah, new let's, beds. Yeah, let's show you the bed. Yeah. All right, guys, we're in the front yard here, and we've got some new beds that we built here. This is a little two by four, two feet by four feet bed. And then we've got our L beds over here with Allison standing right oh, next to them. Oh, you guys, we love these. Now, if you've um, seen some of our videos, you may have noticed this area. Um, before we built this, it was just a big gravel patch. Mm -hmm. So why not use this space? It's like full sun almost all day. Yep. Yep, now we've got this brand new growing space. We've uh, we've got the irrigation set up, but uh, it's got the starts of it. It's all plumbed in, but we still have to plant the plants and then get the hoses out. And we'll, we're gonna do that later. That's not gonna be a part of today's video. And then we've got this cute little flower box in the front. It's just a little two by two foot bed. Um, yeah. We've got some uh, zinnias and some other plants that we're gonna put in there probably today. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, the dahlias, we've got it all mapped out, you guys, as far as which dahlias go where, depending on how tall they're going to get. Mm -hmm. So, you know, whenever you buy bulbs, they usually give you a general, you know, how what the height will be. So we use that as our guideline. We have all the really tall dahlias that are going to go in the back, mm -hmm. kind of the medium. And by tall, we mean anything above almost 40 inches or higher. Yeah, we do have some that are over 50 inches. I know, we do. Yep. So, so yeah, we, we're going to plant them in the back, guys, because as the sun tracks, across the sky this way. Um, we don't want the taller ones to shade out the smaller ones. So the smaller ones are gonna be closer this way in the beds, taller ones will be in the back. Yeah, I, I really, I know, I'm, we're so excited about this. Yeah. Now, um, yeah, we have three dahlias going in the flower bed up there. Yep. This is a beautiful little bed right out of the way. This isn't plumbed in for anything on the irrigation system, but we'll just hand water this. That'll be easy. Okay, you guys, this is our map for the left L, which is right over there. Sean's going to show you that. Yep, there it is. Right there. So, so. all the taller dahlias are along the back. We have five uh, tubers we're going to kind of cram in there. And then these two are also fairly tall, Pooh and Dazzling Magic. So the right L. That one right there. <laughs> Let me get the page open here. So we have a lot more dahlias going in here. So you can see this would be the long part on the back. And then down the other long side. Yep. And then a few through the middle. Now almost all of these dahlias came from Eden Brothers. So um, here's the 2 by 2 bed which is right there. Okay. We're going to plant um, Zahara Starlight Zinnias in the middle there. And then we'll have actually some petunias going around. I said Alyssa or Nasturtium but we're going to change that. And then the flower bed up here, we're gonna put Dazzling Magic, Breakout, and Irish Pinwheel uh, Dahlias. Oh, it's gonna look so beautiful. So we're super excited to get these planted. Um, and we're also, we wanted to let you know, we're filling in the rest of the beds with Cosmos and Zinnias and maybe some Nasturtiums and other things. Yep, things we've started by seed, some plants exactly. we started by seed, and we're gonna get them in there. Exactly, so let's, let's show them the plants. So guys, we're coming inside. We laid all this out last, uh, was it yesterday? And so, but we brought them back in here so they could, uh, we could keep an eye on them and uh, have them all ready to go for today. So here we are. So these are the dahlias that we're gonna place in the left, uh, the left L bed that we just described to you and showed to you. Here's all these guys right here. And you can see we forced all of these about a month ago in these pots and to get them going. The soil wasn't ready. Our, our local soil temperatures and uh, just regular temperatures were really low at that time. They weren't warm enough. So we wanted to get these started growing. So here we are in the pots. Isn't this cool? And so we've got some that are really grown, really tall. You can see some other ones over there. And there's some other ones that have just broken through. Now here's one that hasn't grown through yet. We don't have anything popping up yet. But today what we're gonna do is, is we're just gonna take that bulb, we're gonna take that tuber, and we're gonna place it out in the new bed anyway and see if it starts to grow then. So, so there's the left L bed. Here is the right L bed. And so you can see this guy is just really popping up. Here, this is a dinner plate mix uh, dahlia from Eden Brothers. And you can see, actually, we planted these over a month ago, a little over. These were planted in 425. So a little over a month ago. Pretty cool. 
And then don't uh, don't mind this. This is an all a really old uh, English laurel uh, shrub that we had to cut back, and it was huge here, and it's starting to regrow. We got to trim all this back. So don't pay any attention. We're not transplanting this today. These are not dahlias. Yeah, these are not dahlias. And so yeah, and so part of the right L bed too is one of these proven winners uh, dahlias, and this is Grande Tequila Dahlia. It's a full sun, beautiful. It's a lower grower though, That's so this cool. is going to be out. Um, this is going to be out in front, uh, closer to the driveway. It only gets about f uh, 15 to 18 inches tall, so this will be a fun one to grow. Yeah, that'll be awesome. So yep, and then as we get down here, here's three uh, dahlias. One's forest already growing, the other two not yet, but these are going to grow go in that smaller bed that's uh, two feet by four feet uh, by that little uh, fence stand that we have closer to the house. So guys, that's what we're doing today. We're planting all these. We're gonna take these all out now and we're gonna get them placed uh, right where we want them according to how we've already planned them out. And then we'll get to planting, but we're gonna go over how we're gonna transplant each one. And we'll show you how we do that in just a minute. So guys, you can see we've got everything placed just where we want it relatively. This is how it's going to look once we plant them in. This is all their positions. Um, we're, we're really happy about all this, fitting in here and where they're going to go. So guys, um, and let you know too, we uh, intend to have some string up here for a trellis for support on these, but um, we're probably not going to do that today as they're doing, they're doing fairly well right now. In the next couple of days after we plant them, uh, we'll put that uh, nylon rope uh, up and uh, we'll explain more about that in another video. So right now we've got our placement. So this one right here is Bonanza. This is a Bonanza Dahlia and uh, from Eden Brothers. And so what we're gonna do is, this is where we want it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig the hole. This is nice new dirt. And so this is really good, good stuff. Lots of organic matter in it and uh, the dahlias are really like this. So when you're transplanting these dahlias and they're, uh, they've already come up or you're buying them at the store and you're, you're brought a plant home that looks just like this, make sure to maintain this level of soil when you place it in the ground. Meaning it's, it's at this level of soil right now that it's uh, planted at, actively growing. Uh, place it at the same depth in the hole and with that same soil level. So you're not burying it too low or you're not planting it too high because that's what it's used to right now. So we want to keep that going so it lessens the stress on it. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to take this pot. I'm going to loosen it up a little bit and then I'm going to, wow, these just started, wow. these just started coming up since we planted them back in April. Look at that root structure. That's so cool. Isn't that cool? Actively growing nice and white, really nice. So I might get in here and look just a little bit and see if I can, because you can see there's two stems coming out. Are these two bulbs, two separate bulbs, or is this one big bulb? Be fun to know, wouldn't it? It would be. And then there's another stem. I gotta be really careful. There's another stem coming up right there oh, too. Cool. So this is gonna be three coming up out of here. Let's see if we can, what we can see here. I think actually this is all one big tuber because you can see right here, here's part of a structure and here's part of a structure. I think these are still connected. I'm not going to get into this too much more because I don't want to snap this and jeopardize either one of these plants failing and dying. So we're going to keep these together as they're growing right now. We're going to place them down into the hole. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to, I'm going to cradle both of those, hold those together. I'm going to loosen the soil up around these roots that we already have here a little bit, not by much. I'm not gonna do it like we would, what we would usually do for any store-bought plant and really rip the roots apart and anything because these are still growing actively. Oh, and there's a little tuber growing right there off of this, that's cool. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm just gonna get this hole as big as I can get it here to place this down in. 
and then we're just gonna do this. Maybe I'll put it on this side so it's closer to this trellis, or it will be once we put it up. So I'm just gonna do this. Okay, that's not deep enough. As you can see, I wasn't deep enough, so we're gonna do that a little bit more there. Let's get this out. Which dahlia is this again? This is Bonanza. Bonanza. So let's, let's place that down in. Okay, that's a lot better. That's a lot better soil. See how that's right here's right here's where we had it at before I started digging. And that's really close to what this needs to be. So that's good. So I'm gonna move all this stuff out of here. Move those trowels. Gently get this new soil around the, the roots in these plants here. And there we go. What I'm gonna do is <clears throat> I'm going to create a dike. Maybe you've seen us do this before, maybe you haven't, but um, what we do is we create a little dike around each one of these plants. And so what happens is, is to get them established, this helps collect water around the roots and make sure that that water goes down, just straight down around the, the roots the plants already has. Helps it get established faster, keeps it uh, hydrated and healthy while it's getting established. Uh, later on, the roots are definitely going to go out further past our little dike here as they keep growing. But right now, this is super important to make sure they're hydrated and healthy during this time of year. So guys, if you want to keep track of which plants are where, keep the tag. Put it maybe behind it here so it's inconspicuous. You just see it a little bit there so you know where it's at if you ever want to remind yourself what it is or if you forget. And don't worry about these plants getting watered right away. We're going to water these uh, we're going to water all these after we get all of them planted and then um, they'll be looking good for the rest of the time and we'll keep up that watering schedule. But right now we're not going to do that. So guys, that's how we're going to handle all these plants and get them in the ground right now. Uh, we're just going to get to it and we're going to do a time lapse and we're going to get it done. So here we go. Okay, you guys, we wanted to show you the final product here. We got everything planted. Now you can't see, there's two bulbs that haven't sprouted yet, but they had a really nice root structure, so we're excited. Yep, and Allison put the dikes there around it so we can pinpoint where we actually planted them if they don't come up and we need to dig them up or any other fine tuning they need. Yeah. So you can see we've got everything planted in here. It's looked really well. We, so we really excited. like the spacing. Some of them are getting a little bit of the transplant shock already, but they're gonna snap out of it, they'll be fine. Now you can see each one of these again has like what we're calling a dike or a berm. Um, you might call it either one. I, I was taught to call them berms, but um, uh, Allison's nephew likes to call them dikes. So we go with that because it's a really good idea and it holds the water in just like a dike. So pretty cool stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this bed's planted. Uh, the Let's far bed over here. One, yeah. yep. You know, we forgot to mention, we went with one inch, um, or one inch, we went with 12 inch spacing between all the dahlias. Yep. If you were, we, I think we forgot to mention that. Yeah, we did. Yep, we went, uh, yeah, one foot on center spacings for all the dahlias just to keep it tight um, and uh, use all the space that we could. But uh, some, some of these might need to be really more than a foot on center, but 
this is what we're doing. And well, it was like the best way to pack them all in here, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, best use of our space. So let's take a look from this angle. Yep. Oh, look at those. Sean did such an amazing job on these beds, you guys. We I'm did. just loving them. We did. Loving so, them. Yep. So. so now I'm really excited to get in here. It's really getting too hot to plant at this point. So we're done for today out here. Yeah, you can see we're sweating. We're sweating a little bit. And tomorrow we're going to get in here with all our seedlings and get these all. We've got a whole bunch of zinnias to plant there. So we'll, we'll finish this up tomorrow. Yep, totally. Yep. But the important stuff is so, in. Yep. So guys, yep, it's all planted Yay. up with our dahlias. We got a few other things we're going to place in here, but that's not going to be on this video. Um, but we're super excited to get this done. So yeah, I can't wait to watch them grow and we'll be updating you along the way and uh, letting you know what our favorites are and what got the tallest. And so, so stay tuned for that throughout the summer coming up here. Yeah, totally. And uh, yeah, guys, any questions or comments you want to leave for us, leave them down below for us. We love hearing from you. And make sure to subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our latest garden care videos. Yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching and for yeah. being here today. And uh, we'll be back with the next video. So yep. stay tuned for that and take care, you guys. Yep, take care, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.